This is quite sudden, but I, Yoshito Horibe, will finally have a girlfriend today. Her name is Shinobu Kokoro. Because of her good looks, she is very popular at school and is called the previous girl in our school. Shinobu and I have known each other since elementary school and I like her. We just got along pretty well, but I didn't know what Shinobu thought of me until today's lunchtime. Eh, hey, 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 Shinobu, is there anyone you like? At lunchtime today, I came across a scene where Shinobu was talking about someone she liked with her classmate. I'm not going to tell you. Oh, so you have someone. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you who I like, so you tell me as well. Don't tell anyone, okay? Of course not. I like... Yoshito. What? Yoshito means Yoshito Horibe from our class? Hey, you're too loud! What? Does she mean the person that she likes is... me? I've never seen the slightest hint of her feelings. I'm sorry, but it was unexpected. Unexpected? I thought you could choose the more handsome one, Shinobu. Why did you choose Horibe, the representative of geeks? She says terrible things. Don't be so mean. You're right, though. He's a little boring. Isn't she terrible? But there are many cool things about him. You like him so much. Why don't you confess your feelings? That's... Well, if he confesses, I might. After school, I called Shinobu up to the rooftop to confess my feelings. It feels so good to confess my feelings when I know she will definitely say yes. However, I need to make sure I'm ready to confess. I'm all set. Now I'm going to be one of those people who's living their life from tomorrow. Shinobu, I've been having feelings towards you for a long time. Please go out with me. I'm sorry, I can't. There was a time in my life when I thought that I can be the one who's living the life. Well, what? That's strange. I thought she liked me. I thought you suddenly called me up to the rooftop. But I didn't expect you to confess your love to me. What? He always liked me? Hmm. Hey, don't you like me too? Yes, I like you. No, I don't. You're excessively self-conscious person. What? Could it be that I misheard what she said earlier? <laughs> well, if you insist, I'll go out with you. I really want to go out with you. Why is that? Hmm? It's because I like you! Hmm? Really? Is that so? Then how much do you like me? How much do I like... How loudly do you think you can express your feelings for me? What an absurd request. I think she's getting carried away, isn't she? I thought so. And to get back at her, I shouted from the rooftop to the schoolyard. Shinobu, I love you! Ha! Ah, what the hell? What are you doing? You're an idiot! I just wanted to show you that my feelings are this big. You don't have to shout to the schoolyard. Look, they're all looking at us. What are you going to do? I think you should laugh. How can I laugh? Quiet talk. So, what's the deal with... Do you want to go out with me that badly? I want to go out with you. Really? Really? Hmm, then I have no choice but to go out with you. You should be grateful. Oh yeah, thank you. This is how I wish to be in a relationship with Shinobu. But I'm not satisfied. Let's go home! I wondered if Shinobu really liked me. Then, on the way home... Hey! What? Can we hold hands? If you insist, I'll hold your hand. I really want to. Mm. Oh well, here you go. Like this, I'm not sure if she really likes me or not. I keep wondering if maybe I had just misheard her. It's the same with a date. <laughs> uh... That's nice. What? Do you want me to give you all? I'd love to! It's a pain. What? Don't couples usually do PDA more when they've just started dating? Isn't she more indifferent than before we started dating? Is there something wrong with me? Well, if you insist, I can do it for you. Please, please. 
Okay, then ah. Uh... Uh, uh. Now, when you're done eating, let's get going. Oh, yeah. Like this, she is cold and indifferent. I honestly want to be more lovey-dovey with her, so... Break time. Shinobu, I want to be more lovey-dovey with you. What are you talking about with such a serious face? I decided to persuade Shinobu herself. You know, we've just become lovers, but Shinobu's reaction was so indifferent and cold, I feel like I'm the only one who's excited. What am I supposed to do about it? For example, hold hands! We do it all the time. That's true. Then feed me? We do it all the time as well. That's true. We're lovey-dovey. What are you complaining about? I'm not complaining. It's just that I don't feel any affection from you. I don't know why you go out with me. I go out with you because you insisted. Then what? If you had to, would you have gone out with another guy if it wasn't me? What does any of that matter? Come on, let's go back to the class. Class is about to start. Did I miss here when she said she liked me? That's why I'm so concerned. And that's why you came to me? I was so troubled that I decided to ask her, who was talking to Shinobu before, for advice. By the way, you were listening to our talk that time? Well, I was just curious. When the girl you like is curious about the guy she likes, you're bound to be curious. I heard that she liked me, so I confidently confessed my feelings to her, but she said, I'm sorry I can't. But you guys are going out after a while, right? But her response was cold. I felt like an idiot for being so excited. To be honest, it made me feel less confident. I see. Did you really have no choice but to let me be her boyfriend? I'll tell you what I can tell you. I can tell you one thing. I think Shinobu really likes you. I don't think so. Because I don't think anyone would go out with a geek like Horebe, even if they had to. You're mean. And why would Shinobu go out with someone for that reason? That's probably true, but then why is she being so cold? That's to cover up her embarrassment. Shinobu is a shy girl. I wonder if she's embarrassed. If you don't believe me, next time you see her, ask her to marry you. Why? If someone you don't like says, let's get married, you're not going to accept, right? That's right. If she says, I'll marry you if you insist, then I think she means she loves you. I see. Thank you. I'm going to ask Shinobu to marry me now. Bye. Have a good day. <laughs> He's so funny. I can imagine the panic on Shinobu's face. <laughs> After school that day, I called Shinobu up to the rooftop again. What's wrong with you all of a sudden? Did you call me up on the rooftop for a... breakup? No, it's not like that. Hmm, so what do you want then? Actually, I have something to tell you, Shinobu. Something you want to tell me? Yeah, Shinobu, please marry me. A marriage proposal. Eh? eh? What? Proposal? We've only been together for a short time. Time has nothing to do with it. Uh, I don't know what to say. No? Uh, well, uh... If you insist, then... If I insist, will you marry me? Well, yes. Yeah. Yeah! Uh -huh. What's up with all of a sudden? Oh, no. I was thinking that Shinobu doesn't really like me at all. I was thinking of breaking up with you if you really have no choice but to go out with me. What? I talked to one of Shinobu's friends and she said you wouldn't marry a guy you don't like. So you proposed? Yeah. I'm so glad you like me! N n no! I don't like you! Let's break up, Shinobu. Why?
Because it's just too hard for both of us to go out if you do it only because of compassion. <sighs> Wait a minute! It's actually... What? I'm a little... like you. So... Breaking up with you is a little... too early. <laughs> what are you smirking at me for? No, I'm not. I was convinced. I was sure that she liked me. That made me incredibly happy and I couldn't help but grin. Hey, Shinobu. What? I love you, Shinobu. I'm going to make you happy. I hope we will get on well together. Well, I like you a little bit too. Well, I hope we will get on well together. This is how I reconfirmed Shinobu's feelings for me. And we started dating again. By the way, do you seriously want to get married? That's... so if you insist, I will get married. No, actually, not so much. <laughs> Ouch! Oh no, I really, really want to get married! <laughs> I'll marry you if you don't have a choice. <laughs> what are you smirking about? 